Did you know you could patent something like this? A ring, jewelry, necklaces, bracelets, and even your a watch? Yeah, it can be patented with a design patent. I'm J.D. Hoovener, founder and owner here at Bold Patents Law Firm. And I'm gonna share with you three cool examples of rings that have been patented through the design patent system at the USPTO. All right, so first up, I wanna talk about what a design patent even is and what the difference between that and a utility patent is, really briefly. A design patent governs the way that something looks. It is the first of its kind in that specific category. And it must be novel and non-obvious over above previous designs that have come before. So it's gotta be first of its kind, but it doesn't protect what it does. Again, it just protects the way it looks. And so what you'll own is a set of drawings. Now on the utility patent side, which is where probably 80% of all patents that are issued today govern functionality, right? What something does. And that requires a whole long, long, long specification, written description, and a lot of legalese, honestly, with the written claims that are at the very end of the patent. Design patents are a lot more straightforward and sometimes can provide that additional benefit on the enforcement side. All right, so let's take a look at some three cool examples. This first one <laughs> looks like a ring pop. If you've ever had it, I mean, they're awesome, they're good, they're good to eat, but this one, although it's made by the same manufacturer, you'll see that it opens up, okay? So this is the design for a, looks like a case, right? A fun toy that looks like a lollipop, but it's actually a toy. And you can see they did some really interesting and smart choices here. There are some dash lines. Look really carefully at the hinge of where it opens up and also some dash lines on the little toy. <laughs> I think it's a dog or a stuffed animal. They don't wanna be so specific to claim a specific type of hinge. So they wanna leave it open to have maybe a spring or a mechanical hinge or who knows, maybe a, a pneumatic or right, electronic hinge. And then they wanna be able to put any type of a toy, maybe even candy inside. They're not worried about what's inside, they wanna show off the case. And so what's in solid line is what counts. All right, number two, this is a classic ring design, right? Like a wedding ring. So it's got these mounts for diamonds or jewelry, or some sort of rubies, any type of you know jewel that could sit in it. Again, they don't wanna specify the type of jewel, here, this is a CAD drawing and that's totally sufficient and it is legitimate. This design patent was granted to De Boers, which is a famous jewelry designer. No one else in the whole country can use it, make, use, or sell that specific design for 15 years. So there's lots of lots of ring designs. I wanted to show that as a classic example. Number three, this is interesting. This is a, it looks sort of functional, but it's, what, it, what they own is just the design. So I wanna show off it's a smartphone ring. And this was issued in 2018, so several years ago. Um, you wear the ring and it shows that you can attach it magnetically to the back of the phone. So you can carry it around with a ring. Now, while that does have inherent functionality, that's all shown in environment. Now again, look at the dash lines versus solid lines. Whatever is in solid line here, that's what they're claiming. And that's in the end what they end up getting a patent on. I do like what they did though here. You're gonna see there's a position showing the magnet attached and then a magnet removed. So it can show how it moves and they claim both. Both those drawings made it into the final as granted. So there's a lot to do with jewelry. I wanted to show those ring designs to get you excited. Maybe you have your own jewelry design, whether it's a bracelet or a necklace or something you're interested in moving forward with. If you are, click link in the description below, schedule a free call with us today. Um, and if you're new to our channel, subscribe. I'm gonna be putting new videos out like this every Tuesday. I'm J.D. Hoovener, owner-founder here at Bold Patents Law Firm. Take care, everybody. Go big, go bold.